it's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arneal and I am back. I am in the highly sought after neighborhood of Encino Park, um, right near 281 and 1604. It's an older, well-established neighborhood. Um, we're on a corner lot with a side entry garage, kind of tucked back, big trees. Um, can't wait to show you this one. Here's my phone number. Also, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'll put all my contact info up again at the end also. But this house that we're about to see is three beds, two baths, just under 2,200 square feet, and it's listed right about $430,000. Um, so come check it out, let's go. All right, as we come up to this adorable, precious front door, look, they even have room and have a big bench on the side. I love it. We open the door and we're greeted with a small entryway and straight into the living room. And there is a closet, a coat closet right off to the side. See, they have a little entry table. And then look at this beautiful open living room. I love the exposed beams. And um, this house is set up with all the bedrooms to the right of us, all the common area from here over. So we'll do the common areas first. And we've got a dining room right off the living, which you honestly, I would use like, um, cause I'm not like a formal dining person. I would use it like an office or a playroom or something. Um, and then there's one step down into the kitchen and we've got solid surface counters, black and stainless appliances. There's a pass through in to the dining area. So I guess the other was probably a formal living. I'm crazy. Still, I would use it like a playroom or an office. And then pantry. Casual like breakfast area. They even have a TV mounted up here. And then there's a tiny, tiny little lip down into the laundry room washer dryer, space for an extra fridge, or these guys have just an extra trash can there, and then just extra closet. It is wired for um, an alarm system. And then the garage is over here off the side. They do still have a car here. They're not living here, this is staged, but they just clearly haven't gotten quite all the things. Um, there's attic access. Great big workbench, a giant big fat water heater, all the fun things in the water heater. I don't see a year on it. I don't see it offhand, but that's okay. There's a serial number. You could pull it if we really wanted to know. Um, two car garage, one big door with an opener. There's a sprinkler system over there is the panel. Let's get back inside though. There's so much more to see. Oops, thought that was the garage lights are real. Okay, back here, let's go across into the dining area next. It's one step back down. We've just been going down, down, down. We have another view of the backyard, more high ceilings with the exposed beams. And just like in the breakfast area, they did kind of a white painted chandelier. Love the chair rail around. It's just, it's so well done. It is, you can tell it's a little bit older home. It does still have the popcorn ceilings, but it's just so updated otherwise. I can forgive that. <laughs> All right, well, here's the door to the backyard. Let's go out back real quick. So in the backyard, we are on a corner lot. So we have kind of a misshapen large backyard. And um, one way I see that you could put your own stamp on this yard is to add a cover to the patio. You have a big slab and that door goes into the primary suite, um, but there's not a real cover. And then around over on this side, there's more yard. And the garage and driveway are on that side. It's a, I love corner lots and cul-de-sac lots. You get such big yards for the kids and animals to play in. Or the adults, you do you. I'm not here to judge. And then over on this side, got a hose bib, more big trees. 
There are gutters installed throughout and the AC unit is over on this side also. So let's get back inside. Up a couple little steps into the house or readapt to the darker lighting all right so we'll go see the secondary bedrooms first on the left doorway is the primary suite the right side is the secondary um oh and i need to point out this adorable fireplace it's a pretty stone fireplace gas or not gas listen to me it is a wood burning fireplace i can't even talk but that's okay Lots of windows and all those shutters installed really great, make for great lighting and upgrades. And let's go down this hallway past this adorable light fixture. And we've got bedroom number one. I would suggest asking for new carpet or a carpet allowance or planning on that and budgeting for that um, because they definitely have some wear in them. Big windows and a large closet. This door needs to be replaced or repainted. Closet. And then we can go around the corner and here's the bathroom. So it's the first of the, of the two full bathrooms. It's a double vanity, solid surface counters, beautiful mirrors, the light fixture, they have, it has a couple bulbs out, but it's still pretty bright in here. And then toilet and tub shower combo. Oops, I was just trying to get that light on y'all. I'm a mess. All right. And then air conditioner closet. It's a big unit in here. And here's bedroom number two. Oh, that AC is from 2008. So it's not super new, but it's still pretty cool in here. So it's working, it's a workhorse. All right, bedroom number two, smaller window than the first one, but it also does have a big, big closet, kind of a mustard yellow closet, and then attic access in here as well. And I think they learned their lesson about pulling the mirror off the door because they left that one. They must have tried the other bedroom first. I'm just saying, that's just my guess, y'all. All right, let's go over to the primary suite now. Past a little bar, desk space, workspace. Look at that. I love it. I don't know what I would use it for except for just to gather all the stuff. But it could be a good coffee bar, actually. <gasps> okay, anyway. Primary suite. Very large bedroom. High, high ceilings. There's that door to the backyard. Let me come over to this corner. There's that door to the backyard. Then it's the closet door and then the bathroom. So the closet has some built-ins. Also has a sweet little vanity sitting in there that I love. Um, lots of room. Even has a little, a little up high window so you can get some ventilation if you need it. And then let's check out this primary bathroom because I'm in love with it. This is where they spent all the upgrade money. I love it. So fun, fun, fun tiles on the floor. And then, look at that vanity, double vanity, pretty lights, beautiful standalone soaking tub with a large frosted glass window. A large, large walk-in shower with the seamless glass. And I love that they use the same tile up in the shower also. Window for ventilation and of course the toilet because mm, bathroom. But look at this light they installed up here too. There's a control panel on the wall. It has night light mode. It's got regular light mode. It's got a fan on it. And it actually apparently will play music. It says music. I don't know how to make that work. But that's super fun and a cool idea. So what do we think of this house, y'all? It's got so many cool upgrade finishes. It's got so much potential. It's in a neighborhood people just fight to come live in. I don't think it's, personally, I don't think it's gonna sit on the market very long. Um, so call me, text me. I'm gonna get this one up as quick as I can after posting it so that y'all have a chance to see it 
and can call me so that we can get you in here because this one's awesome. It's all one story. There's very few steps in the house. Um, Y'all call me for this one. It's worth it. All right. As always, my name is Stephanie Arneal. I am your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm going to go keep seeing the next houses, but I will see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by.